Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Harasa Serka. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you, you may now be seated. Today is Thursday, June 6, 2024. Only three days to go until our glorious summer break. Now let's go to live for Today in History. Thank you, Hadassah. Hey, Patriots. Today in History on June 6, 1833, Andrew Jackson became the first president to ride a train. Andrew Jackson was the seventh president of the United States, but the first to ride on what was then called the Iron Horse. They also didn't call trains trains back then. They used to be called locomotives. He rode the train just for the experience and took a trip to Baltimore. It didn't take long after this for railroads to catch on and over 30,000 miles of railway was built, making it possible to travel across the United States. I'm sure the horses were happy that the trains took their place. Now let's check today's lunch menu with Jasmine. Thank you, Aliyah. Today's lunch is Salisbury steak with gravy, ham and cheese sandwich, seasoned corn, Cajun brown rice, fresh baby carrots, sliced peaches, fresh strawberry, and your choice of milk. Tomorrow's breakfast is banana apple muffin trifle, fruit loops, string cheese, fresh orange, 100% apple juice, and your choice of milk. Students, please keep in mind that the lunch menu can change at any time. And don't forget to let you know if you're receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, let's go back to Hadassah. Thank you, Jasmine. That sounds tasty. Patriots, please remember to keep your phone shut down and in your pockets at all times. Remember, no book bags on Monday, so keep them at home. Make sure there is no chewing gum in school. Please spit it out before entering the building, and you can only wear a school jacket or sweater. Monday, June 10th is an early release day and also the last day of school. The year is almost over, so if you haven't ordered your yearbook yet, go to myschoolbooks.com. It's $45 per person. If you would like to become a cheerleader next year, head to the front and back office to get your yellow paper that contains the information. Make sure to read the dates and requirements carefully. Now let's go to Samara for today's weather. Thank you, Hadassah. Hi, Patriots. Today's weather is 93 degrees Fahrenheit with scattered thunderstorms. Time to whip out your umbrellas. In other weather news, you may have seen these big trucks in your neighborhood picking up an old couch or chopped down trees. But I bet you've never seen them used like this before. Animal Control had to figure out a way to safely move a 12-foot alligator and they got creative involving a special garbage truck that is used to hoist away big items. A 12-foot gator is big, but by no means the record. That honor goes to a 90 feet and 2 inches long gator in Gainesville, Florida. I wonder how they moved that one. Well, whoever came up with this idea deserves a raise. Now let's go to our Patriots Happy Birthday with Giselle. Thank you, Samara. Today's birthday boys and girls are Orani Uzkategui, Joniel Valdon, Leah Martinez Cruz, Janelle Thiard, and Jolanta Wise. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Hadassa. Thank you, Giselle. Patriots, here are your Pat's expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Merkel, Ms. Carter, Ms. Eugene, Ms. Arnold, Ms. Carey, Ms. Nelson for getting, for getting the correct answer to Tuesday's daily challenge, which was, what is the current currency of Japan? The answer is yen. Also, congrats to, to Ms. Sheriff, Ms. Campbell, Ms. Arnold, Ms. Cavalita, Ms. E. Raiola, and Ms. Dengqua for getting the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was, how many bones does a human body have? The correct answer was 206. Today's daily challenge is... Daily Challenge! If a red house is made of red bricks and a yellow house is made out of yellow bricks, what is a green house made of? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. When does be announced on the next morning announcements? Everyone on RPTV would like to wish you all a thoughtful Thursday. Have a great day!